Yeah, we're live, buddy. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning. Um, I, I'll dip my dad in Mark. And who are you? I'm John. John, okay. And what's the name of our business? Zach is Zach. Good what, morning. And what's this show here? Good morning news shows. Good morning news shows, right? Right, Dad. It's very cool. Um, we're here to bring a little bit of good news and some good humor out there, right? Right, Dad. Right? You can look down below a little bit for the camera because the camera's down below, okay, buddy? Yeah, Dad. All right. So, is the day starting well for you? I take it good for a while. We're actually going to go to the office a little late today. We're doing this from home, right? Right. Did you get your beauty sleep? I did. I thought I up really earlier. I know. You were up early. You're ready to go? Um, you ready to rock and roll? I, I saw I could do it as easily as an office. I know. Well, we're doing it here at home, mm -hmm. right? Is that okay? Yeah. A little more relaxed? Right? And we got a busy day, but let's talk about some of the good news stories we want to share. So, you know about, there's a woman named Phoebe Kokakis. I think that's how she says it, K-O-C-A-H-I-S. She has Down syndrome. Yes, Who else yes. has Down syndrome? I do. You do? And you know what she's doing? Yes, I... She does something you like to do. What do you like to do most days? I uh, dance. You dance a little. Well, you know where she's dancing? Um, She's made it too, so you think you can dance. Is that cool? That's really cool. That's really cool, right? Because you have Down syndrome. What do you say about Down syndrome? I have Down syndrome. Down syndrome never held me back. Right? And it clearly doesn't hold Phoebe back either, right? By right, that. Right? And then you found a story. About Jack Higgins. Yes. And what happened with Jack Higgins? I, I hear uh, he, I, I hear a guest ring from from school, and a whole school, uh, a hit district, uh, having a silent graduation. Well, a silent ovation for him. Oh, right? oh, a silent ovation. Because it turns out Jack Higgins is on the autism spectrum, and sometimes people with autism. The noise and sounds really bother them, right? Right. We get that with some of our colleagues at work, right? So when Jack went up on stage, you know what he was doing? He put his hands in his ears because he was afraid there would be a lot of applause and noise. And you know what all his classmates did? They all stood up and gave him a silent ovation. So they were cheering for him, but they didn't want to spook him with the news. With the noise. How does that sound? Right. Is that said, cool? I, I said amazing. That's cool, right? And then we have news that's of national import, but concerns a friend of yours. Oh, yeah, Candy Picker. Candy Picker. And want to tell people about Candy Picker? Uh, Candy Picker, uh, now she's now uh, the CEO. Uh, C C CEO. Um, uh, CEO of President. Um, uh, um, of what organization? Uh, National Down Syndrome Society. So, the National Down Syndrome Society is the world's leading advocacy group for people with Down Syndrome and speaking out for people with all differing abilities. Right, and uh, Sarah Weir, um, a couple months ago, stepped down as CEO. Sarah did a wonderful job, right? And Candy was named acting CEO, and now she's been named the permanent CEO. That is very cool. Candy, you know, she's that special type of woman, right? She's a mom. She has a son with Down syndrome, and Candy comes from Indiana. But she's also a great manager and a great leader, right? Very cool. You happy for Candy? I am. Right? And John here is on the board of the National Down Syndrome Society, right? I, I am. So you helped to prove that. That sounds pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, Dad. And are we going to have a good day? I'm going to have a good day. Where are we going tonight? Tonight, we're going to up the, uh, down to Washington, D.C. I'm going to meet with the Congress. We're going to meet with members of Congress. Actually, it is where we're going with the National Down Syndrome Society because they're holding their Caring with Congress 
So it's a dinner with members of Congress. There'll be senators and congressmen there. And you're going down there to represent, right? Right. And by the way. Yeah. Um, tonight, uh, 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 tonight at the dinner. Right. And same place, uh, 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 holds C21. Oh, I know. It's in the Eastern Market building over there in, in D.C., right? Um, that's very cool. Very cool. Right. John, we uh, do a lot of advocacy work, meeting with members of Congress and local representatives, all speaking up for the rights of people with different abilities. Right? And, and that's about right? Yeah. Uh, 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 the, uh, I I I I eat the Eastern uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, for the C21. Right. I served my dad a beer. You did, right? We should tell people what C21 is. C21 <laughs> is an occasional pop-up restaurant that the National Down Syndrome sponsors or holds along, and it's sponsored by Voya Financial, um, and they've hold, held it in multiple cities. So I know they've done it in Washington. Right. New York twice, no, New York once. They're doing it again in Washington, that'll be the second time. Um, they've done it elsewhere, I'm not sure where else they've done it, but the whole idea is everyone at the dinner has Down syndrome. Everybody who's working the dinner. And the idea is to show local leaders, look what people can do. So you've done it twice, right? And when yes. you were in D.C., what job did you have? Oh yeah, bartender. You were a bartender, right? Oh yeah, I served my dad a and beer. And I bellied up to the bar and had my son serve me a beer, right? I did. Did that make you happy? I did. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's very cool. And we have other good news, right? Um, one of our colleagues this week, Christy, what's she doing this oh, week? Oh yes, this week is fixed time week, so far. This Friday, um... Singing, singing getting married. Christy's getting married, right? Uh, I want to say congratulations to Christy and Jack. Chris, congratulations to them, right? We gave them socks. Yeah, it's They're giving wonderful. everybody at their wedding socks. That's going to be cool, right? right? Mm -hmm. And we got another thing going on. We are, if you check our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, we are rolling out interviews with all the sock wranglers. Right. Right? I know Alyssa has done one. Um... Stephanie has done one. Stephanie, Liam. Liam has done, did Liam do one? Okay. He did. Very and, cool. Uh, I did uh, the uh, um, interview for me. Uh, they interview you? Yeah, they did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Were you able to handle it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and you're designing some new socks, right? I am. What type of socks? Christmas. Christmas socks for the Christmas store we're going to open, right? My dad. I can't wait to unveil that. I mean, I know it's July, but we're working on Christmas, huh? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. You're hiding a yawn? Uh-huh. Okay. You don't have to hide yawns, John. I it's am. okay. Um, so, it sounds like it's going to be a good day. Okay? But you kind of make every day a good day, don't you? I did. Yeah. All right. Let's see where people are. Oh, we got a hello from Melinda in Indiana. Um... Melissa loves you. Oh, we got a uh, hello from Chile. Good morning, Chile. Um, must be early there. Uh, let's see. We have a hello from Vicky, who is in Cumbria in the United Kingdom. Very cool, John. Uh, hello from Oklahoma. I'm going to want to go to Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know why? You know what's in Tulsa now? Two key things that I'd like to visit. There's a Woody Guthrie Museum there, and now the Bob Dylan archives are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think we got to make a, a road trip to Tulsa. Would you like that. to do that? Say and that. we could sing "Take Me Back to Tulsa." Uh, I, I got to learn more lines to that song. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good morning from Australia, and I don't even know what day it is in Australia now. Maybe it's already tomorrow. It's crazy. I can't. Uh, I can't keep track of all that, right? Um, Miss Kyles from uh, Washington Primary School says hello. Oh hi. Cindy Grimm checks in. Cindy Grimm is like doing everything, right? She's 
run, helping run the Whaling Museum. She's an artist. Now she's a real estate person. I don't know. She's like Michelangelo with all she does. It's very cool. Um, oh, Deanna says, hi from Las Vegas. Who's going to Las Vegas? I am. You are. When are you going to Las Vegas? Next week. Next week. That's going to be cool, right? I'll go to a casino. Um, <laughs> you're going to a casino, huh? Uh, Valerie from Victoria, Texas says hello. And let's see, Peter Welch here. Um, John, we're getting a class together called Breaking Barriers in Pensacola, Florida. We want you to come, my friend. Disability awareness for first responders. Well, we, we could make arrangements doing that. If we can't make arrangements to be there physically, we could uh, maybe do a Skype visit, right? Oh, you got another hello from Florida. Nicole and Hi. Ive from White House, Texas. Very cool. All right? All right, folks, I think we're going to wrap up because... Oh, wait. Oh, you have a joke to tell? I do. Oh, well, John's got a joke. Okay, so Stand back, this will be funny. <laughs> oh, when when NASA will begin saying uh, saying Android. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see this here. The first one. When NASA first began sending astronauts. Okay, go ahead. I, I into into space. They were uh, confronted by a small problem. They are centers, ballpoint pens, would not work in space. They spent a seaside and $12 million designing a pen that would work below 300 degrees in space and on class, while I use a pencil. So, What's the joke? That's up. That's not a joke. That's a story. That's an anecdote. That's not. <laughs> What's the punchline? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I, 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 you want me to read more? No, no you can read more. Okay. That one's not a joke. No, no, okay. no, 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 no more. No more. You're a funny guy, but that wasn't a joke. <laughs> Get in the picture here. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, we're going to have to get the professional comedian, your brother Patrick, to come in and, and teach you about jokes. Oh, okay, I'll call Patrick. No, 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 no. They're not going to call him now. Okay, we're on a show. This is live. People are out there. We just got a hello from Canada. I tried Sharon, to, I tried Sharon to where in Canada are you? You're trying to be professional. Professional comedian? Yeah, Patrick. Patrick? Patrick is a professional comedian. Are you calling him? No, you're not going to call him now. <laughs> You cracked me up. Hey, we got another hello from Chile. Uh, they have your socks. Um, Melissa is going to Corpus Christi next week. Remember we spoke there last summer? That oh, yeah. That was great fun. We really love being down there. Uh, you, oh, oh, yeah. Um, I, I really um, we go down to uh, uh, Corpus Christi. Right. Um, a great museum called Selena. Oh, the one the museum for Selena, right. Okay, and oh, you got, uh, oh, wait a second. Jesse is saying you're a funny guy. <laughs> Don't encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> Morris, Minnes Morris, Minnesota, that's Renee, and Brittany is in Arkansas. We were down in Arkansas, remember, for the Bentonville oh, yeah. Film Festival. And I heard back from Trevor Br Drinkwater, who runs the Bentonville Film Festival. And I think we're going to make permanent giving out a scholarship there every year to someone to go to the Joey Travolta Film School. We want to show what people with different abilities can do, right? Right now. Sharon is just outside Toronto, Canada. Okay. We got hellos from Washington. That's Jesse. And Kelly is in Tennessee. T, T for Texas. Texas. T, T for Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> and I, I, I ain't gonna more jokes. No more jokes. You, you, next week, on next week's show, you tell more jokes. Char, Charlie is saying hello from Pennsylvania. You got Jacob in Maryland. Ooh, Erica is in the Philippines. 
Beth is in Wisconsin, another Australia. Grant is in Pennsylvania. David is in, David is in Boston, Mass. Jenny's in New York. We're in New York, right? I, I, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, uh, do you remember? Uh, 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 just a long time ago, um, uh, 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 u